Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 19th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing how to build the uh, perimeter uh, by replacing the temporary sand retaining wall uh, that I've been uh, putting down as I've been AFK dumping sand. Uh, if you're looking for another part of the strategy in action, though, a link to the other videos in this series can be found in the description. Uh, I'm going to return to my uh, uh, to the sections that I've uh, AFK sand dumped so far. I've removed a whole bunch of uh, water columns um, down there as a kind of a sand path. That's uh, the start of a sand path, at least. It's going around the ocean monument. Uh, there's water down there to prevent uh, hostile mob spawning. Um, uh, I'm going to head back down there. Now, now, normally I wouldn't begin removing the temporary sand retaining wall and replacing it with the perimeter yet. Uh, and that's because um, before I remove any parts of the, uh, of the temporary sand retaining wall, I want to make sure that there are at least uh, two full sections in either direction. Uh, right now, uh, there's only there's one section of the wall, two sections, and three sections. Uh, so it's not possible for me to have uh, to be removing parts of the temporary sand re retaining wall uh, and have two sections. Uh, uh, ha sorry, to have uh, two full sections in each direction. Uh, so I'm I'm going to violate my procedure just so that I can uh, demonstrate how this is done. Uh, let me head back. Uh, let me head back down there. Don't have any ladders there, so right here. There we go. Okay. Um, first thing, I'm going to uh, get rid of this water just to make it a little bit easier for me to move around. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's right here. There we go. Okay. So um, uh, this is the uh, temporary sand retaining wall that uh, has been built. Uh, been built as have been AFK sand dumping, uh, and. I'm going to want to remove uh, each column of this uh, column of this individually. Now, uh, that means uh, removing a lot of individual columns of sand, um, uh, but it only has to be done once, uh, and it's actually not too bad. Uh, now, uh, I'm trying to make this a little bit uh, a little bit decorative. Um, uh, or at least I want it to look nice. So um, I'm going to have two. Uh, I'm going to have a path of sand going around my ocean monument that is uh, two blocks wide, uh, and then I'm going to need um, kind of a, a barrier block uh, that's going to go all around the edge here. Uh, and the uh, the the block that I choose to have as my barrier block um, is going to be uh, stone slabs. Uh, stone slabs are nice uh, because um, they're well. They're, I'm going to be p placing bottom half slabs, so so there's not going to be any mobs spawning on them. Uh, but they also, uh, I think, the gray color goes nice with the ocean monument. Um, uh, they're relatively aesthetic. So uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to uh, uh, drop my two furnaces. And um, I've been collecting a lot of extra cobblestone as I've been peeling off the lids of these um, uh, of these uh, uh, water tanks here. So I, I'm not short on cobblestone. In fact, I'll end up with more cobblestone than I started with. So I, I'm not too worried about uh, not too worried about um, uh, wasting it here. Uh, I'm going to turn this cobblestone into stone by cooking it. Um, I have three buckets of lava, um, and I only need one for dispatching the guardians um, inside uh, as I drain each of these water tanks. So I'm going to use the other two as fuel and just cook um, uh, cook this cobblestone uh, into stone. Uh, and uh, let me put down my crafting table here. Uh, once I uh, uh, once I get the uh, stone, I'm going to craft uh, stone slabs, and then I will just use those uh, for my decoration. So I'm kind of using uh, I'm putting all of this scrap cobblestone to uh, to good use here. Uh, let's see. Let me grab these. I just got a few of these to start. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make stone slabs out of this. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's good enough. Uh, okay, so. Uh, now, what I've been doing to tear down the uh, sand columns in between the water tanks is, is using a torch, um, and that's really good for removing uh, removing those uh, sand columns because they don't have any water adjacent. 
but on the other side of the sand retaining wall, uh, there is uh, there's the ocean. So if I try to uh, take down this uh, column of sand with a torch, uh, what's going to happen is the ocean is going to break it, and uh, um, you know maybe one or two uh, blocks of sand will have uh, fallen, but nothing else. Uh, so I have to use a block that is not going to be washed away by um, uh, washed away by water, uh, and so I'm going to be using the uh, the slabs, of course. Um, so I'm going to be digging out this block uh, of sand, and uh, as soon as it breaks, I'm going to place the slab there. Uh, but if I don't put da uh, put down something else, the water is just going to pour over the slab in here anyway. So uh, before I break this block, I'm going to be placing a slab right there. Um, that's a bottom half slab against the block just above the one that I'm going to break. Uh, now I'm going to try to break this and place the slab at the same time, uh, and water is going to be prevented from spilling in here. Uh, due to the fluid mechanics of, uh, of Minecraft, the, uh, the water is not going to spill over this slab uh, because it thing it's trying to flow only downward. So let's, let's go ahead and see how that looks. Now, I, I do have a couple of chances to do this, um, uh, and that's because uh, that, uh, I, I dumped sand uh, along, the, uh, along the top there. Uh, and I've got about nine extra <laughs> nine extra attempts. So if I so if I miss uh, like I did on the first one there, I can try again uh, uh, and nine extra times until I finally get it. Uh, if I really am missing a lot, I'm going to want to go up and dump some more sand on top there to make sure uh, uh, to make uh, to give myself some extra chances. But uh, in this case, I only needed two. Uh, word of caution: if you miss once. Don't do what I just did and try right away. Um, the uh, kind of there's kind of a ripple effect of falling sand that happens that becomes a little unpredictable, and it may allow water to spill in uh, over the edge, uh, and that creates a big mess that needs to be cleaned up. So, um, it, if you miss, just give it a second before trying again. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to want to remove uh, both of these blocks, um, uh, but uh, uh, if I do, the water is going to spill in, so I'm going to place a block here first, and then I'm going to uh, remove that block uh, that's uh, that I placed to break the sand. Okay, and now I can remove this uh, this slab too, and uh, there we go. I have um, I have a, a nice column of water here. I might want to go over and uh, down here and check to see if I uh, lost any sand. Um, doesn't look like it. Um, I do need to be a little careful because I'm still in survival mode and uh, there are guardians around, um, uh, and I, I don't have the I don't have the buffer of uh, two full sections of the wall around. So, in fact, um, just so I don't screw up my uh, my demonstration here. I'm just gonna make sure there are no guardians around. Uh, okay, so um, that's one column uh, done, and I'm just gonna keep um, keep doing that. And uh, I'll clear out uh, clear out about this many, but uh, I can go as uh, far to either side as I want. Um, let me uh, get this one here. Okay, got that one on the first try. I'm gonna stand a little bit closer to make sure that I'm uh, picking up all the sand as it breaks. Uh, and uh, once that's done, place the slab here. And now this one can be broken, except uh, don't break it while standing in the water. It takes forever. Okay, and now I can get rid of this one. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do the next one here. Okay, and uh, place down the slab there. And now I can go ahead and uh, retrieve that slab. Okay. Uh, now I'm not going to uh, uh, get rid of this um, uh, this slab uh, up, up above that because I also need to uh, I need it for this uh, column here. So uh, let me start over here. Okay, there was once, twice, and it looks like I'm gonna. 
Okay, um, that was four times. Still have a, a number of chances. There we go. I, I did mention in a, a previous video that I have had a little bit better luck uh, with this um, uh, with this breaking routine uh, by mapping my uh, um, uh, my place block control to a key rather than a mouse button. Oops, uh, I did not remove uh, that block first. Uh, that's what happens. Um, you create kind of a big mess. Now, if I place a, 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 that slab back here, water is going to flow over it. So I need to uh, get uh, make sure it doesn't uh, doesn't come in over there. There we go. Let me get rid of uh, that one right away, so I don't make the same mistake. Okay, now I can take these down. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, okay, and now I need to take uh, down this column here. Just one attempt. Oops. Let me try from uh, here. There we go. Getting close to pick up all that falling sand. Okay. And uh, place that barrier block. And now I can get rid of that one. And now I can get rid of this one. Okay, uh, one more here. All right, got that one. Um, now uh, that uh, that barrier block is already in place, uh, so I can remove this guy here. And now I can remove this one. And I've got a, a nice a nice wall uh, of water there. Uh, that's just the ocean. Um, now the, there's a this corner column here uh, requires a bit of special care. I cannot remove this block right here. If I do, the entire ocean is going to come pouring in and it'd be a big mess. Uh, so I need to work on the block that's just above that. So I'm going to be placing a slab right there. Make sure to get all this uh, falling sand. And uh, the ocean is not going to come uh, crashing in on me here. So uh, everything, everything is all fine. I can even uh, break this block right here. Okay. Uh, and um, I've uh, got a nice, uh, nice open corner there except for this one block. Now this one block is sand uh, as it is right now. I want to, I definitely want to replace that with something else. Um, and the reason uh, why I want to replace that block with sand is because I need to replace it with something that an Enderman can't steal. If an Enderman ever decides to come up here, I've removed all the wall. Basically, the only block that he can possibly steal is this one in the corner. And if he takes it, uh, then I'm going to have a big mess on my hands. So I want to replace it with something, uh, and I'm going to replace it with uh, something nicely decorative, like uh, these uh, blocks of gold uh, that I have retrieved from the treasure room of the monument. So um, that's gonna, what I'm going to want to replace it uh, with, but I can't uh, take this block straight away. Instead, I need to dig out the, uh, the blocks that are on either side of this first. So I'm going to get uh, this block down here. And I'm going to get this block down here. And now I can remove this block. There it is. Okay, and I can replace it with anything I want. In this case, the block of gold. And uh, go ahead and replace those two sand blocks that I just removed. And there we go. So uh, I'm going to do that for the entire... Uh, for the entire wall, uh, the entire sand retaining wall. I'm going to replace it with this nice uh, decorative stone slab perimeter uh, with the gold blocks at the corner, uh, and uh, I think it'll look pretty nice when it's all said and done. So uh, that is how to uh, uh, build the perimeter um, uh, out of uh, <laughs> mostly out of scrap cobblestone that, that I'm getting as I'm uh, draining the water tanks here. Uh, and that is it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.